hi everyone welcome back with another video in today's video we'll be covering the volume group migration we have two ways for volume group migration the first one is using lvm mirroring and the second one is using lvm bv move command this video will cover the second way which is bv move command also in this video we have two scenarios will be covered the first one will be reclaim the physical volume and migrate the volume group to one partition within the volume group and the second one will be migrate volume group to a new hard drive or new physical volume you may ask why we need to migrate the volume group there is many reasons sometimes for us to migrate the volume group one of those reasons we need to reclaim some partitions or to replace a faulty disk or replace an existing smaller size disk with a larger one so with all that being said let's jump into the practical side of this video as you can see here in front of you i have the terminal connecting using ssh to the server so i will start with the first command bvs so I will list the physical volumes. As you can see here, I have the SDB1, SDB2, and SDC1. All of them are belong to the data underscore VG volume group. So let's see what we have here size. We can see here the SDB1 partition have three gigabytes and we have three one gigabytes. That's mean we have two gigabytes are consumed from this uh, partition. SDB2 we can see here it's three, three gigabytes and the free is, is uh, three gigabytes that means this si this uh, device or this this partition is not uh, nothing consumed from it and it's nothing uh, located on it so sdc1 i think we have here five gigabytes we have free three gigabytes that's we that's mean we have two gigabytes uh, which is located for logical volume from this uh, from this partition okay let's get more clear information by running this command also lsplk and then i grab minus v and i exclude the loop we can see here that the sdb1 have data underscore vg data underscore lv so that's mean the data logical volume uh, is located on the sdb1 have two gigabytes over three gigabytes that mean we have one gigabytes free from this uh, partition let's move to the sdc we have sdc1 we have 5 gigabytes we can see here we have log underscore lv which is a logical volume we have 2 gigabytes so that means we have 3 gigabytes free so this is just a clear information so let's move now to lvs and then i will use option plus devices if you don't have lsplk to confirm we can you can you can run this command also we can see here that the data underscore LV is located on SDB1 and log underscore LV also located on SDC1. We can see here the size is 2 gigabyte as we can see here. That's it. So now let's move to the how we can move. Let me just run this command again just to illustrate for you well. Yeah, SDB1, how we can move this one to here. So we can use this one because we can see here I have here two gigabytes and have I have here four gigabyte uh, five gigabytes I'm consuming also only uh, sorry I'm consuming only two gigabytes so how I can move those two gigabytes so here I still have one gigabyte free additionally so to perform this one I have command called BV move okay so I can move so this command don't run it uh, as db1 so this is what i need to move it i need to move this one okay so where i need to move it i move it to this okay so you need to move it dev as dc1 so this command don't run it on the big time try to run it at the midnight and also check how much you have data inside this one here i have a simple um, amount of data it's not too much so it will not take time but if there if you have and also i prefer to do it on um, let's say on um, i hit enter i also um, I prefer to do it on test environment and try to prepare well before go to the production uh, all the all the time i just uh, try to remind you all this uh, information is good to just yeah 
it will take a little bit and it will finish so the end it will be this one should be and this one should be here and uh, this one sdb it should be uh, out of uh, any logical volume here so let me just run the comment again let's confirm as we can see here yeah so this one is migrated or moved to this uh, sdc1 and we can see here we we have five gigabytes two two that's mean four and we have still have one, uh, four i think one gigabytes uh, free and extra as an extra so let me just now uh see the bv we can see here the again this comment show us that's device sdc1 which is having and holding the data underscore lv the same also for log underscore lv which is both logical volumes are located on the sdc1 now after we move we need to do vg because if you do bvs we can see here still sdb1 and sdc uh, as, uh, sorry sdb1 and sdb2 are located for this so how we can remove them from here if let's in case if we want to reuse them for something else we can do like this vg reduce then put sd uh, dev sorry sorry vg um, data underscore vg dev sd db1 dev as db2 so now i can reduce them so let's run bvs again we can see here the only one have this one and we have only extra size as free size is this one how we also can confirm vgs okay like this data underscore vg so we can see here we have only five gigabytes and then we have only one gigabytes as free and that's it now i will move to the next step let's say i want to let me just run the comment again here let's say i want to move this to this new disk how i can perform this one let's say i want to move this both of them all of them or let's say vgs i need to move this data uh, underscore vg to the new disk so how i can do this one first i need to prepare this one to be as a, a let's say a, a physical volume for and prepare it for the lv to be discovered and then i can add it to the this volume group then move this one to this one and then it will be finished let me show you now first we need to f disk dev sd uh, sdd okay now let me just print yeah i can see here it ha i have seven gigabytes so let me just uh, do n i need to make it new primary yes enter enter and enter here now i will put t and then i will put 8e to make the label and the type as linux lvm so then i will put p just to print out yeah I, as you can see here dev sdd1 the size is 7 gigabytes the id is 8e which is the type linux lvm nice now let's hit w and hit enter to write down the changes okay now let me clear the screen now i need to bv create we have learned this one in previous videos dev sdd1 okay now we will create a bv yeah bvs we can see here the bvs right now added here nice so how we can add this one to the data underscore vg we have learned this one also we can vg extend okay then the vg uh, data vg then we'll put dev sdd1 and hit enter we can see here the vgs we have right now two physical volumes okay and right now we have also uh, as an extra size seven uh, eight gigabytes additional space that's nice so now what we can do after we add this uh, after we add this uh, physical volume let's do also um 
yeah, uh, I think that's this enough. We have also BVS we listed. Let's check BVS. Let's see if it's added. Yeah, it's added here because you can see here it's, it was not uh, allocated for the data underscore VG, which is this volume group. Right now, it's as you can see here, it's labeled as assigned to the data underscore VG. Nice with seven gigabytes. Now, here what we can do. Let me just show you, I think, this command. Uh, let me just uh, rerun it again. You can see here, I need to migrate the volume group to be here with those uh, logical volumes. Okay, so how we can do this? VG, uh, sorry, BV. Let me just like this. BV, move, div SDC1, okay, to div SDD1, okay. This will move the logical volumes from div sdc1 to the div sdd1 okay i will hit enter nice it's done right now let's run the command this command again let's confirm yeah we can see here the sdd right now holding both logical volumes so now we need to do the same let me just bv vg uh, sorry bvs we can see here this sdc one still just uh i think it's uh belong to the data underscore vg which is this volume group we need to remove so we can do vg reduce okay like this then we will put the data the volume group name and then dev sdc one so let's reduce it let's remove it nice so as you can see here it's right now removed let's do again the bvs we can see here the only vgs data yeah we can see here we have only one physical volume we still have three gigabyte uh, free space nice so i have done this so thank you for watching and take care see you next video thank you